Hey, what's up, everybody? Wow, hope you had an amazing weekend. So, yeah. Today. Well, I have tomorrow in my thing, but it's actually, when this comes out, it's today. Today is election day. So, I always say what I feel in my opinion and how I believe. And I know that y'all probably already know by the content on on my page, some of my content, who I'm voting for. But I just want to put this out there. Let, let me just do this. Let me do this. Selected, I will walk. There you go. There you go. All right, y'all. So this is something I saw on TikTok. And it is the same thing. And I'm not saying that you know, Trump, he, you know, doesn't say the same thing at his rallies on some of the stuff. He does go off script a lot. He does stay on script, whatever. It is both. But we have proven four years under Trump, we don't have anything under her. Begin with a to-do list. What's that to-do list, honey? Because there is not one. Your stuff on your website is ridiculous let me pull her website up right quick no nah, hell no I ain't doing all that shit hang on we're gonna go through this together all right no <laughs> absolutely not all right so issues a new world were uh, a new way forward all right. What is that new way forward? Cut taxes for working people. Why haven't they done that before? Y'all go down through here. I mean, great. Yeah, tax credit for kids. I mean, what is it at 3000 She's going to raise it to 6000 That's great. Okay. Woo. We get a tax cut. Then you're going to sit there and... Uh, this right here. Oh, you know what? Am I even presenting this? Nope, I am not. So we're going to add this to the screen, Dana. I did it again, you see? All right, so she calls out Trump right here. $4,000. Okay, you literally just raised it by two. And literally, it has been 3000 for a very, very long time. Now, in some of her stuff down through here. Um, oh, now she's accusing um, Florida of price gouging. Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah, it does make it. Yeah, you can't price gouge during a state of an emergency. But they can any other time? That makes no sense. What do you, I mean, inflation is bad. So how are you going to stop? It, it all trickles down. I mean, that's what I don't get. Anyway, so in a lot of her, her stuff that's in here is the same word salad garbage that um, she had first put on here. And nothing's really changed. A new way forward. Okay. So let me ask y'all a question. And 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 I'm I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this. But if people are voting for her because of her skin color, I don't get that because you have a white man that is running with her. So what are you actually voting on? Is it because she's a woman? First of all, I'm going to give you my point, my opinion, period. This is my opinion and mine alone. I don't believe a woman should be in a position like that. Sorry, I just don't. I don't I don't think we should be high ranking up there in the military. Especially, well, that might be a little different, but we run on emotions. I mean, we're not black and white. We are black, white, green, gray, dark gray. We have it all in between, okay? That is just a female. Women, 
I'm going to say it again, don't need to be in that type of position, especially as a president. I, I just don't. I never have and I never will. Anyway, that's beside the point. That is just my opinion. Now, she's talking about lowering drug costs for the elderly. Absolutely. I think it should happen. It should have already happened. It should have happened even before Obama. Okay? But it needs to be across the board. We pay outrageous amounts in insurance just so we can go to the doctor. And half the time, you still got to pay out of pocket even though you're paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for a premium. Everything that's in this right here is blaming Trump. Or, you know, this is what... And I'm sure if I go to his, it's going to be the same thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Because it's election year. It's election, you know, energy cost. I mean, really? Really? Yeah, this is... Oh, my God. Okay, let, let me just get off of that. Now. Man. Full of priorities. What priority? Of what I will get done for the American people. I will enact the first ever federal ban on price gouging on groceries. First of all, if inflation and everything was not so high, it would not have trickled down the way it did and caused prices to go up so much. And everybody talks about, well, you know, um, minimum wage and, you know, we're going to hike up minimum wage. And, and yes, minimum wage is ridiculous. Minimum wage was meant for a teenager to start or a young person to start out at a job just starting, not, you know, for you to rely on when you're an adult. That's not what the minimum wage crap, in my opinion, was meant for. It was meant for you to start out, you start making you some money, you're still at home, you're still in school. I mean, you're still in high school. It This was not meant for adults when they're going out and, you know, continuing their career, or if they don't have a career, continuing something, and, you know, or they're going to college, you know, but it's not meant for you to survive on. It, it, it never has been. Ever. I mean, good God. So, then we want to raise it to $15 an hour. What's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 year old is actually out on their own making really good money? They're, they're very f few and far between. But when you're 15, 16, 17, and 18, you're sitting there, you're having to make something if your parents are making you work. I mean, if your parents aren't making you work, then obviously you're whatever. But my kids had to go to work. You know, if they wanted that extra money, they had to go to work. All three of them. Well, actually, all five of them worked. So all three of them, um, from the middle down to my youngest two sons, they've always worked. Every single day. And, you know, one had two jobs. So, they had to get out and then they still had to go to school. So, you know, did they gripe because it wasn't a lot? Yes. But, they're learning. I, that's what I don't get with people. They're saying, you know, gripe, everything is too high. Well, when you raise minimum wage to $15, well, guess what? That comes out of your, your bottom, your, you know, your bottom line or your profit and or whatever it is and so in order for you to charge or pay that employee the $15 a month or a, a, a hour everything else has got to go up so same way with when the interest went to 9.83 percent everything was going up I think it was higher than that everything's going up so what they're having to buy and if you know it's going to trickle down. 
cap the price of insulin and limit out-of-pocket prescription costs for all Americans. Now, there is nothing on there on her website that gives specifics on how she is actually going to achieve that. Now, you are going into a private sector, so here's the government overreach, and you're trying to go into a private sector that provides insurance to the majority of Americans. We pay for it. And you're going to go in and tell them that they're going to have to cap on this, a private sector. Oh, okay. As president, I will fight to help first-time home buyers with your down payment take on the companies it's a down payment assistance off on your taxes so you don't actually get that they take it off of what you your um earn income credit or un, earn income would be then they take that off and so your tax liability goes down but you got to qualify for it. See, there's a lot of catches. That are jacking up rents and build millions of new homes. First of all, why are, are the taxpayers, why are the taxpayers about to build millions of new homes? No. We're funding wars, and now she's going to, you know, there's no telling if this lady gets in office, we are all screwed anyway, so. But. You're going to take and add money again to the deficit to build millions of new homes. Please, somebody make that make sense to me. Fight for a child tax credit to save them some money. Which, which will also lift American children out of poverty. I'll Please tell me how that's going to lift American children out of poverty. Because you are giving a $6,000 tax cut on children per child. We were already having three. All that does is reduce your tax debt. And eventually, <laughs> some people might get their tax returns done or back. Because we don't get nothing back anymore. Not in four years. Work to lower the cost of child care, which is out of reach. Here it is. Here it is again. The government overreach and in going into a private sector. You cannot sit here and tell people how to run their freaking companies. This is that government oversight that they're going to keep trying to do and put federal government into everything. We cannot allow it. For too many working families today, we're going to change the approach and allow Medicare to cover the cost of home care. First of all, if y'all don't know, and it seems like a lot of people didn't because they're screaming about that, uh, they already pay for that. So seniors can get the help and care they need in their own. They do. They have it. And also, Medicare will also pay for your caregiver in your home. Own home. When the Congress... Act. And the reason why I know that, when my father-in-law got sick. Passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom nationwide. We have reproductive freedom. As President of the United States. I will God proudly help. sign it into law. I will work with Democrats and Republicans to sign into law the border security bill that Donald Trump killed. At Whoop. Hold up. Hold up. He didn't kill it. You and your president killed it. Killed him. This is what I'm talking about that's getting pushed. People need to go back and review the executive orders that Biden did away with the first day. And then there was some that was in like 
what, the first week and then the first two weeks, something like that. 90-something executive orders that Trump did, they took out of office. And if I hear another damn thing on the freaking tariffs, people... Y'all need to get y'all need to do your own damn research because y'all have no idea what the freaking hell tariffs are. If you did, you would know they were already in place. Every country in the world uses them, but a couple because they're so poor that they can't afford the tariffs. So every country uses them. We've used them. Biden kept the tariffs on the books. Never got rid of Trump's tariffs. Never. And he added some of his own. At the same time, People we must acknowledge we are a nation. The problem, the the if you if you watch the media, CNN, M MSNBC, CBS, ABC, even some on Fox. If you watch these networks, and I'm not saying I don't watch Fox because there's two people on there that I like, and that's it. And one is not even on there anymore. And I do uh, subscribe to him, which is Tucker Carlson, not just on YouTube, but his website. Um, and Dan Bongino as well. Love to listen to Dan Bongino. But if people sit there and only get their news from these mainstream media crackpots, y'all in trouble. Of immigrants. <laughs> And I will work with Congress to pass immigration reform. First of all, we had a very strong immigration border three and a half, uh, well, almost four years ago. It was very strong. These, this lady and this president we have destroyed. And it. I will work with everyone. Democrats, no, Republicans, and independents to help Americans who are working hard and still struggling to get ahead. Wow, you've got this one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got these celebrities coming up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who's that? Who is that? Yeah. So I got one. Well, I got two more. We're going to go through right quick. You price gouging. I looked at your plan. Wow. Uh, you talk about going after price gougers, and I'm quoting from the plan on a central. Man, look at that face she's got going on. It's Ooh. during emergencies or times of crisis. I get that. How does that help, though, someone like Eric with prices that for years the grocery price has just been high? It's been ever since 21. Well, first of all, Anderson, here as goes you the words. Know, Alex. CNN has been covering extensively uh, what has been happening. Very positive on all those channels and very negative. against Trump in the state of Georgia, North Carolina, Florida. It's a real issue. I, I was attorney general of California. I was the top law enforcement officer of the biggest state in the country. I yeah, took this yo. issue on because it affects a lot of people. <laughs> and I'm not going to apologize for the fact that we need to actually deal with accountability when these talk about account accountability, honey, you have no not accountability. All. In fact, most don't. But when companies are taking advantage of the desperation and the need of the American people, we saw it actually during the pandemic as well, where because of supply chain issues, we, there was a, a reduction of supply and then they would inflate the price of everyday necessities. Not to mention, by the way, again, Donald Trump should be here tonight to talk with. He's not. He refused to come. But understand that part of his plan is to put in place a national sales tax of at least 20. Do y'all listen to the lies that are coming out of her mouth? She spews more lies than I have ever seen anybody 20 do. percent on everyday Liar. goods and necessities. Why? She doesn't even believe her own lie. Look at her. Yeah, 
I, you know how you get people to agree with you. You're shaking your head, yes, you know, and so they start agreeing with you. That's what she's doing and that, right here. By economist estimates, independent economists would cost you as the American consumer and taxpayer an additional four thousand dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, y'all like this right here? Uh huh. Y'all see this right here? Yep. If y'all get a chance, I'm on. I'm on. Copy this link. Y'all get a chance. Please, whatever you do, go read this. I will have it pinned in the comments. This is sick, sick, sick. He is so horrible. Such a horrible person. And then you got all these celebrities. All these celebrities. Look at that one right there. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? What? You should be emotional. You should be emotional because you know you caught. We should be upset. We should be scared. And she tried to look like Melania Trump. But J-Lo, you and failed, outrage. Baby. We should. Our pain matters. We matter. Yeah, you're 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 in a, you a downward spiral your voice and your vote you have matters. no clue what's and, coming and next. Look, don't be afraid. And if he is to going to uh, you out you, invite people around you to be the change. To go out there and vote. Nobody. Yeah, y'all be the change. Go out and vote. People that sit here and they complain and bitch and complain and bitch and complain, and yet they never go vote. It makes no sense he to me. Likes having tough conversations or talking about politics, but trust me, I've been in some of these rooms. I see the way power works in this country. They I bet you have. I bet you have. Yeah. They love it when you do nothing. Okay? A non vote is an agreement. It just makes it easier easier for them to do whatever they want. Whatever serves them. And this election is about your life. Is she, is she like in panic mode to y'all? Because I believe she's in panic mode. It's about you and me. I think they all should be in panic mode. Now, who does this lady back here to the left behind J-Lo with Diddy? Who does that look like? Y'all just tell me. Because it looks like the lady. And my kids and your time. kids. For Epstein. Don't make it easy. Make them pay attention. Not for, e not for Epstein, but, you know, was with all of that. That's your power. That is our power. Our power is to vote and to expose pieces of shit like this right here. Like that. And I do believe, I honestly believe they are in panic mode. Because they know Trump is about to get elected in a landslide. Guarantee you they are in panic mode. You guys, I'm telling you, y'all need to see this. Y'all need to go and read it. It's gross. Oh, it's so gross. I had no idea, and I really, because I guess I'm not um, really watching the news or whatever, and God, man, I started reading that. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen people talk about it or whatever, but there was a reason why I never liked DiCaprio. There's a lot of them I don't like. And I'm wondering, too, you know, you married to, to J-Lo. How did... Uh, come on, Ben Affleck. Really? Oh, man. I don't know. All right, guys. I hope you guys go out and vote. And Trump Vance 2024. 
stay salty.